Hey, I'm Simon from FinSuite and in this video I'll show you some awesome techniques to speed up class selecting and dealing with long class names in Webflow. Even if you're not using the client first style system, I would definitely recommend watching this video to the end since the techniques you will learn can always save you some time. So stay tuned. I'll start with some general tips but later in this video I'll also specifically address the spacing system classes of the client first style system and the typography classes and also some global classes. So now let's get started with the first general advice which is using shortcuts to access the class selector. So uh, we're going to use this um, element here, this text block um, to demonstrate this. So actually, as you can see, the selector is here and I could um, just move my mouse here and click. But what I'm going to do instead is to press Control and Enter, which is Command and Enter on Mac. And now I access the selector here, as you can see with the little cursor here, which is placed there. Um, and now we actually already have a class. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to type in the that I'm going to press the backspace key to actually remove the class. So as you can see now, this also changed. So now I will just type something in like text, which actually leads us to the next advice, which is using the suggested classes. So as you can see here, there are a lot, a lot of different suggested classes and all of these include the word text here because the suggested classes obviously suggest um, classes that relate to the thing that you typed in. So now if I just press the down arrow key, I can actually um, move the highlighted um, class here. So as you can see, arrow key down, down arrow key. And we're going to now select the text size large by just, we don't even have to click this here. We can just move down to the text size large and press the enter key. And then it will automatically add the class here. So this can definitely also save you a ton of time because you don't even have to uh, move your mouse there anymore. Next general advice for the class selector is to not type in the dashes when typing in a class name. Let me show you why. So let's say we want to again add the, wait, I have to select the element here. So let's say I want to add the text size large here again. So um, if I type in text dash size, you'll see all of these um, text sizes recommended. But meanwhile, if we just skip the dash, so let's just put text size here, it will just show the same results. So um, dashes are not a client first specific thing. If you're wondering about this, this, this is just a best practice for class names. And so not typing in these dashes is a small trick, but can still save you maybe some time. Also a small but neat trick is using the arrow keys in the selector and you might be thinking yeah you just explained this but I'm actually talking about a different use case here so it's not about selecting the suggested values but it's about just if we for example have this text highlighted let's just duplicate it for a second so this would be a better use case and now you can see the text here is highlighted. So what we can do here is to use the up arrow key to jump to the start of the word and the down arrow key to jump to the end of the word as you can see the selection here moving. And not only this, we can also um, move one step like one character to the left or to the right by just using the left and right arrow keys obviously. And this is just a nice thing to just delete this copy word when you are duplicating a class. And yeah, just moving these characters can also save you some time. So let's actually, yeah, just keep the copy for now. Um, let's move on to the last general trick actually, which is using keywords in class names. So let's say we want to have this text with like a strike through style applied. So what we would do here is not type in the 
text style strike through like we won't type in the whole word and there's actually a pretty good tech tactic for this here which is just to use keywords that's what i like to call them so if we just type in strike through you'll see that even after typing in some of the letters um it will immediately show up here and if we just use the mechanic we learned before which is the down arrow key and enter to select the suggestion here and um, then it will just speed up our class adding process by such a huge amount here because we just you we are just using a keyword and it works immediately here i'm pressing enter and now we have a strike through text in the header which makes a lot of sense <laughs> There will be more on typography styles and client first later in this video, but first let's have a look at nice tricks for the client first spacing system classes because there are also a lot of things you can do here to really speed up your class adding process. So in this case, I'm going to use the margin bottom div which we have here. And first I'm going to use the control and enter, command and enter on Mac obviously, um, shortcut to access the selector. And here I'm going to hit the backspace key twice to delete these classes, or I mean not delete, but remove them from this element. So um, the thing that that's really cool about the spacing classes is that you can type in the classes in a way shorter way but still have them suggested so in this case um, to add the directional margin class in this case margin bottom i'll just type in marbo and as you can see it's only one suggested class and this is margin bottom which means that we can just type it just press the enter key and we have it selected here so this also works for mar top for example this will also be the only suggested class then or marley uh, for margin left as you can see um so this works for all of the directions and the same goes for padding but we'll cover this in a second and now um yeah let's actually do this for the padding so pad ver wait pad ver um for padding vertical super fast or uh, pad lee uh, for pad left and you get it so basically you can type in just some characters of the word but then if we again use the suggested classes here it will make adding a class super fast once once you get used to the pro to the process here and so we got the marbo here in this case margin bottom and now actually for the size it's also super easy to add so the first thing which you can always have a look at is these suggested classes here because if you clone one of our resources one of our templates as i'm currently in that's the fs template 4 which you can get at finsuite.com slash client dash first we'll probably already have a couple of linked uh, margin sizes here so you could just go for a margin medium here for example but actually what i want to show you is not to just use these suggested classes but to add the normal classes in a faster way so in this case it would be uh, marmi uh, for margin medium or uh, marla for margin large here it's the first suggested thing or now if we say mar xl we have mar x large and you get it and the same goes then for the padding classes so we would have pad la for pad large uh, pad me for padding medium up next we got typography styles in the client first style system and i like to refer to two different uh, types of keywords here so the first would be let me just remove this class here combine keywords it's like with the global spacing classes like we typed in marla to say margin large and that's basically the same principle that we're going to use here for combined keywords so one great example would be the size classes so in this case i'm just going to type in size la and it's a combination of two words as you can see and it's showing size large as the first option so we could either click it here or just use the um suggestions here and the arrow keys then the next um example would be the weight classes text weight so in this case it would be weigh me for example for weight medium um or weigh weight weigh bow for weight bold 
So that's another example of combined keywords. And then we actually also have unique keywords for the text classes. So an example that we actually already used in this video was strike um, through. So the strike through class, which adds a strike through the text here, obviously. Um, this is a unique keyword. It immediately shows this as the suggestion uh, as a suggestion in the class selector. If you just type in one word and then we have, for example, mute, which adds opacity to the text um, immediately showing up here. And also things like quote. Text style quote or text style two lines, whatever. So you get what what the principle here is. And now to end this video, I would like to give you some tricks for the global classes, which we are having, which we have inclined first to just also speed up your class adding process for these classes. So let's start with the global max with classes. So um, I could type in max with large max with small whatever, but this would take me a lot more time than to just type in um, Wism, for example, which is for um, max with small. And I could do the same thing for uh, with Wilar here, in this case for max with large. So that's the how to use the shorter, the shortcuts here for the max with classes. But that's, this also works for in, input here. This would be the first, um, the first suggestion immediately or also a really good thing for page padding which we're using a lot of times in our projects we could just type in ppa and immediately have the page padding and containers are obviously also a really important structural element of our um, projects so container also have some nice uh, shortcuts here so it would be a cont laugh or a container large or a cont sm for a container small cont me for a container medium so the point of me giving these random shortcuts here in this last section of the video is to show you that there are many different ways to shorten class names when selecting the classes inclined first, but also generally using Webflow. And you'll naturally find more um, shortcuts when working with the system, the client first style system. So when I started out using Webflow, I actually used to type in the class, the long class names um, the whole time, like when I started using Webflow and then also when I started using client first. But um, if I had known all of these uh, tricks, then I would have saved a lot of time. I hope that this video was helpful for you and you're now also a class selecting pro in Webflow. If that's the case and you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the FinSuite YouTube channel for more awesome Webflow content and live streams. Also, make sure to check out the official client first documentation and our resources at finsuite.com slash client first. See you soon and have a nice day. Yeah.